Okay, so here we have the filet off of a silver carp. You look at that beautiful white meat. It's nothing like a, what you'd expect from a common carp. It's a darker meat and it'll be a thinner filet. These things have really got a lot of meat on them. Dress out really pretty good. I'm going to take this, fit, this filet and cut it in half lengthwise. And uh, expose that dark meat. And you can see that dark meat right here, it only goes, it kinda, it's, it's a small, thin strip that runs along the lateral line. And we'll cut that out in a minute. Uh, again, we're looking at the bottom half of the fillet now. This is where the ribs were. This was the head. This is the tail. And the skin side is down. And the, the red meat's facing me. I'm going to cut along here, remove that red meat al from the, along with the skin at the same time. And you see we've got this red meat along here, all attached to the skin. And this is mostly white meat. I trimmed that up just a little bit right there. And we got uh, nice white meat filet. Discard the skin and the red meat. And I'm going to do the same thing to the upper half of the filet. And I'm going to start at the tail of the fish, cut toward the head, removing the red meat along with the skin all the way the whole length of the filet. Bending my knife around that red meat so that I can get more meat without getting, uh, and again, you can see I've left the red meat attached to the, to the uh, skin here, and you've got most of the red meat has gone off of, the, off of the, the other. If you don't do it that way, you're gonna have little circles of skin stuck to the meat all up and down, and that takes a long time to remove those sometimes. They're kind of a pain to remove. Doesn't really matter if you leave a little red meat back by the tail because the bones are going to be right there. We're going to remove those anyway. All right. Now, we're going to debone this thing. Again, we've got this is a, the, what it looks like looking at the outside of the fish. Rib cage, head here. This has got bones in it. This has got bones in it. This part's already boneless. We're going to, the first thing we're going to do is cut off that, that those triangle-shaped bone, uh, the, the bone section at the top that's going to give you a triangular piece of meat and cut that out so that we don't have those in our filet. <coughs> now, I'm going to cut here right, right along the bones and cutting around the bones all the way down to the cutting board here. Get a nice big thick piece of meat off of that. Really pretty piece of meat. Nice. And then I'm going to cut the other direction. All the way down to the, just rolling my knife around the, the bones as I go down. The trick is not to cut through any bones. Though. You don't, if you feel the bones with your knife, you cut around them. Okay, cut these pieces off here. And so there's a nice big piece of boneless meat right there. Another one off the bottom half. Now I'm going to take this and turn it over. And you can see those that strip of bones right along there. This is where the bones are shaped like a Y, and the and the white the center bone comes up and makes a series of white points along the bottom. So I'm going to take those, lay my knife right next to them. Cut next to those bones all the way down to where they meet up with the other bones, the other part, and just cut that out like that. Get another nice big piece of meat. Nice strip of meat right there. And then I'm going to cut on the other side of this. Do the same thing. Cut lengthwise. Pick 
Cutting right next to those where that center piece comes up and just pulling this piece out all the way down the meat. Until you get back to the tail section where they are no longer Y-shaped. Another big piece of meat there. And then I can take the tail section. I'm going to cut right in the middle of it. Cut down to the bones. Cut right through there. Cut back the other direction. Cut me a piece off. And another boneless piece. And then your bones are there and you just discard them. All right, that is the top half. Bottom half of the filet, I'm just going to cut that rib cage section off. Nice big boneless piece of meat right there. Then there's, there's a piece of meat here on the outside that you can kind of pick up. That's just one piece. Uh, on, the, on the bottom half, you don't have much meat between the bones and the skin. The bones are really laying really close to the skin, so I don't do it the same on the, on the bottom half. I turn it over, so now you're looking at the inside of the fish. You've got that, that row of bones there. You locate that row of bones that are sticking up, and there they are right there. And just stick, just cut right down next to them, like this. All the way down till you get to, back to the back where, they're, where the bones are no longer Y-shaped. Cut out this, these bones and down to the bones there again. And I'm going to, now that the, I'm back to where the bones are no longer Y-shaped getting back in here, I can just cut right there, removing those tail bones. All right, there we go. I've got this, this piece here, which is pretty much mostly bones, and this piece, which is one piece, comes off of here. And that's my bottom half of the filet. This is the meat off of one half of one fish that was about maybe 12 pounds. Mm -hmm.